built back um, at the time of King George by one of his courtiers. Um, he built it for his lady. On a, on a bright, sunny, warmer day, it's lovely for the children to come out here. This is all their space. Um, they are welcome the, to use every inch of it. It's walled off. Um, it's all safe. Uh, they can't get out. Nobody can get in. Right. The reason why I'm stopping here is to show you for the parents that are that have uh, children in the early and lower years. This is um, where we have forest school. So one of the things that I'd like to chat to you some more about those the, the early year and uh, lower year parents is that we have um, immersive uh, um, an immersive bilingual environment in these years. So what happens there is that we teach the children 50% in 50% in French and 50% in English. They have a choice in year nine to take Spanish as well. So we're quite a language heavy school. And so that by the time they get to GCSEs, we want them to be taking three modern languages. So we yeah. have one, one class per year group. Uh, 28 is a registration group class yeah. size, yeah. and then it's split in two. Yeah. Two groups of 14. Yeah. Do, do you have a 50-50 split for boys and girls in each year? I, that's my job, and I have to try as much as I can to get that right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's the ratio right now? It is about 50-50. I have one class that I'm struggling with um i'll be very honest with you that we're just below 50 it's, it's girl heavy but um i'm doing my best <laughs> and this child is year 10 and 11. so um we do things like uh basketball uh rowing a little bit of tennis i don't know if you saw when you walked in we've got a wooga which is a multi-use game area how fancy is that um, and uh, we do uh, athletics, golf. Help me out, golf. <laughs> um, uh, there's netball, netball, basketball, um, table tennis table because tennis. of um, its coordination, hand-eye coordination, and that's really complementary in learning. Oh right. I have a lot of people that are coming to visit today and they would like to meet you. What are you learning today? I taught the um, computer science lab. So if you recall that it's about the We missed out year three. They hate to be missed out on. Um, and um, as I mentioned to you, that's Rob, and he's teaching English at the moment. Year three, is that? That's year three. We pull out every single child individually. We teach reading as a separate subject. So we don't teach reading as part of English. Um, each child gets read to and read with individually at their own pace. We are doing, we are doing We're not oh, doing yes. Okay, well I don't want to disturb it too much, but they do ballet inside here as well. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> ballet is compulsory for boys and girls in the lower years to year four. Hi, Hi guys. Natalie. Hello, how are you? Good. Hello, is this all wall book day? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Welcome to Amsterdam Food House. Uh, we have a different approach for, for most things. One of the things we have a different approach is the lunch. So we believe lunch for the children have to be something different. So we teach from early age to half years to have a three course meal every day. So the children have an option to have a soup or a selection of the cold buffet and then they have a hot meal and then the dessert. So every day is a different option for the buffet, for the soup. So every day is a different soup. Uh, every day we have a different main course and, and the main course. My name is Adrian Rainbow, I'm the head here. Um, Welcome, especially welcome to the little people here. <laughs> you guys have a good tour. You like it? Here, we're well, welcome. Hey, and we have a very small sixth form, so we only have 32 children in the sixth form right now. And then they're going out to the big wide world. And it's, it's, it's not just with our sixth formers, but even when we think about all the time, with one form entry, we have everybody knows each other. It's this place of kindness and compassion. And, you know, nobody, everybody's cared for, nobody really gets, everyone's, there's no year group differentiation, everybody hangs out with everybody, and then outside of these people here, right? Yeah. Do you have all crazy program or medical student program? So we, 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 we don't, we have, we outsource that in terms of part, being part of Dukes, of the educational lives that we're part of. We've got um, an internal medic portal that we, that help us with all of our, uh, our students that want to go to medical school, so they get in-house. Um, tutoring through the through the, 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 the guy Ricky who runs it. it used to be a doctor he knows exactly what our children need to do to get into medical school wow. we also have we also work really closely with Oxbridge uh, um, applications where it's, they they explain to all students they have to get in their early applicant applications for medical school um, okay thank you very much thank you our uh, children are a bit younger, so she's 15 months at the moment. Yeah. So what's your vision for the next 5, 10, and 15 years when she's actually going to be out of here? Okay, so I would probably implore you to look at um, with the time frame we've got right now. Um, very briefly, what I want to do is I want us to be, I want us to have this juxtaposition between a traditional school where, independent school, where we have a high emphasis on academics, pastoral care, co-curricular clubs, um, where we're really developing. Well, year nine, oh, okay. but um, some of them started Latin in year five, some of them started Latin in year seven, and some of them are brand new. So we have three different levels of okay. one lesson. Okay. Uh, we Thank you. 